Yeah, Seguin Falls was uh, an early colonization town right around the time when there was uh, an opening between Lake Rosso and Lake Nipissing. It was a very prominent railway and uh, timber industry actually cutting through, as you can see behind us. And uh, there's a lot of history here in Northern Ontario that people don't really know about. And it wasn't until a uh, road that opened up Gravenhurst to Magnetowan opened that this town really uh, fell into despair. In 1955, when the railway completely stopped operating forever and the final general store shut its doors, the population dwindled to less than 50. In the next few years, all buildings became a memory of what the town used to be. Now it's a very popular cottage industry with a lot of snowmobilers and uh, yeah, just a lot of nice places around the lake. Even though it's considered a bit of a ghost town, like it's a very popular cottage destination all year round. One thing, however, may make you take that three hour trip up north to visit a little bit of Canadian history. Very close to Perry Sound, which our claim to fame is the home of Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr, behind the net to Sanderson, Orr! Bobby Orr! Next time you go through a ghost town, maybe stop for a bit. You never know what hidden gems you might find. This has been Matt Coffin for Sup Sheridan.